Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome to the online support program. I'm Razia Ali, your computer science teacher. It's my second lecture of 10th class computer science. This lecture is also related to the chapter number one, programming techniques. As I told you about the programming techniques, this chapter is actually related to the algorithms and flowcharts. But in previous lecture, we have discussed about the problem solving which is uh, the basic part of making algorithm and uh, um, because we have to follow the steps of the problem solving then we can make algorithm and flowchart and we can solve the problem so this today's topics are algorithm characteristics of algorithm role of algorithm in problem solving measuring measuring efficiency of an algorithm how to develop an algorithm algorithm examples so let's start with the first topic algorithm actually what is algorithm algorithm is a step by step solution of a problem when we write the solution of the problem step by step in order that is known as algorithm for that purpose we need uh, input and uh, logics and uh, output so for writing algorithm we must know the input process and output then we can write in a proper way in algorithm so algorithm is a step by step solution of the problem fine let's uh, let's see here that uh, there are some points uh, an algorithm is a finite uh, set of sequential instructions to accomplish a task where instructions are written in simple english language one more thing that we uh, will write the algorithm in simple language uh, that everyone can understand the steps uh, of the solution of the problem so it is called as a step by step solution of the problem it is a well developed organized approach to solving solving complex problems if it is well organized so uh, we can solve a problem easily fine uh, it refers to logic of program uh, uh, when we want to write the algorithm so you have to uh, your program solution must have logic uh, it is step by step solution of to given program fine finally uh, we are here to come to know that uh, what is algorithm so algorithm is clear for you now algorithm step by step solution of the problem is known as algorithm fine let's see the next topic this next topic is characteristics of algorithm what is characteristics of algorithm so the things in an algorithm uh, an algorithm must have so uh, the characteristics first characteristic of algorithm characteristics of algorithm includes uh, finiteness what is finiteness uh, total number of steps used in algorithm should be finite it means that the steps which we are writing in algorithm for solving the problem so it we it should be limited it should not be uh, infinite so limitation is the most important thing in writing algorithm uh, the second one is the infiniteness uh, each step of algorithm must be clear and unambiguous it means that uh, the, the steps which we are writing it should be very clear that everyone can understand that what is going on in this algorithm the third point is effectiveness every step must be basic and essential so uh, the algorithm sh we should write the algorithm in a way that it provides the result in a very good way that everyone can understand that result easily so and the last one is input and output the algorithm must accept zero or more than input and must produce at least one output the algorithm which we are writing it must have input it must uh, it should process the input and then provide the output so three most important thing which is necessary in the algorithm that is input process output in process logics will be used fine these are the characteristics of the algorithm which we have to while writing the algorithm we have to keep in our mind that we uh, the algorithm should be like this fine role of algorithm in problem solving uh, algorithm plays an important role in computer programming computer programming is the process of taking an algorithm and uh, 
coding it in programming language okay fine formulating an algorithm is the first step for developing a computer program for writing a, a computer program in a high level language for writing the solution of the problem in a in, in high level language we must make algorithm first then we have we can convert it into the high level language we have to write the steps of the solution steps of uh, solution step by step then we can convert it into the high level language so role of algorithm is very important in problem solving fine the next topic is measuring efficiency of an algorithm an algorithm uh, efficiency of algorithm is a property which relates to the algorithm amount of computational resources used in it for example um, time memory and storage spaces uh, while when we are writing an algorithm how much time it takes and how much memory it takes uh, storage space and memory it takes so uh, the algorithm when we uh, write an algorithm so, so algorithm should perform speed in a speed um, uh, take less time and uh, also use less memory in the computer so that uh, measures the efficiency of algorithm analyzing the efficiency of algorithm means comparing efficiency of different methods of solution of a pro program so efficiency of algorithm depends upon the time and memory usage and storage space less time less memory and storage space used by algorithm is the best fine next topic is how to develop an algorithm so i i have told you that for making an algorithm first we have to uh, we have we should know about the input we have uh, must know about the logic and algorithm should provide the output so let's see uh, first identify different inputs to be given to system we have must we must know the input then identify what, what output you want from your program in for uh, um, if we are making the program uh, we have to think that what will be the output and what output we need for our program then uh, create logic for it and uh, logic for it for example uh, if we are going to add so we have to use that addition logic so uh, the third point fourth point is break that logic into simple steps so we have to write how many logics we have in algorithm for writing an algorithm we have to break it in steps we have to write them separately each logic should be written separately okay write the steps in order and then we have to write the steps of algorithm in order first input then process and then output fine this forms the algorithm required from the given logic so these are the steps uh, to by using these steps uh, the guidelines of these steps we can write an algorithm in a very proper way fine the next thing is now i'm going to teach you that how to write an algorithm keep in in your mind say algorithm is written by you you can solve uh, your problem um, according to your wish but in a accurate way and following the steps of the algorithm so now uh, you can write according to your wish Mm, but you have to follow the steps fine uh, let's write an algorithm for finding area of rectangle for finding area of rectangle we must know what is the formula for finding area of rectangle first of all and we must know the input and uh, we know that we are for finding area of rectangle uh, so output will be area of rectangle let's start writing algorithm step one uh, we have to write step one step one as it is because you are going to start go, going to write an algorithm so you have to write step as it is now input is it's uh, according your wish i have written this input because uh, in first step i'm going to write the inputs the inputs which we are going to um, use in logic in formula fine read means the same input uh, we are going to read uh, width and length of the width or and length of the area so uh, while using in computer language we have to put the width and length separately 
in step 2 process should be done process uh, includes the formulas all the formulas will be included in the process step so if it is formula of volume formula of uh, volume of cube formula of area of triangle any formula will be included in the step of process so area equals to the formula of finding area of rectangle is area equals to width multiplied by length now third step uh, we have to write as it is th step 3 output as you wish if you can you want to write right but uh, print area so whatever the logic will be formula will be it will be solved and the output will be will come in area and then in last third step area will be printed so algorithm sh algorithm should be written in a form that uh, in, in a form that it should include input process and output now with the help of this algorithm you can solve your questions at the at, in exercise so i hope you understand uh, you have uh, assignment question number one what is algorithm you have to write the definition of algorithm and what is the role of algorithm in problem solving you have to write the role of algorithm so uh, because for writing a program in a computer language we must write the algorithm first step by step solution of the problem first then we can convert it into the programming and we should write down the answer of role of algorithm in program problem solving question number um, four five six seven eight nine in page number 29 reference book, book is given textbook of computer science grade 10 so page number 29 in that for question number four five six seven eight you have to do it try to do it but we will do it uh, in a, in a lecture four inshallah uh, thank you